What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we have a special request from super subscriber, Mr. Rene. What's up, man? We didn't forget about you. Mr. Rene wanted to see a video and review on the G.I. Joe Army Anti-Tank Gunner from 2003. This figure came out in 2003 and I purchased him from uh, Toys R Us. And Mr. Rene uh, wanted to check, check him out and wanted to know if we had him, if we could do a review on him. And we said, no problem. Anything for our super subscribers. You guys know that already. So here he is. Let's bring him in. What is there to say about a figure that absolutely, positively has everything? <laughs> well, we're going to find some things to say about this guy because that's how awesome he is. He's an anti-tank gunner and, it, and his weapon of choice speaks for itself. It's a missile launcher. And here's the missile. We weren't sure if we did a video. We did believe we believe we had this figure in a video with other figures that we were doing a uh, an exhibit with. And he this particular figure has garnered and gotten so much attention that Mr. Renee wanted to actually like say he wanted to to see this guy by himself and see him. And I'm getting other people that saying that they they wanted to see this guy as well. And some people just want to know if we even had him. So we're going to answer all those questions today. This is a cool G.I. Joe. He jumped off of the toy store shelf when I was, I was shopping at Toys R Us. And those are the good old days when, you know, G.I. Joe was still on the toy store shelves. And you could find this guy. And here's the missile. Look at the size of that missile that goes inside of here. This is spring activated spring loaded so it shoots it's got a mission card included just a beautiful figure uh the head sculpt is one of the my favorite head sculpts i have a few head sculpts that i really love and this is definitely one of them beautifully done outfit you name it guys if you're just joining us Please like and subscribe. Join the family. Join the fun. But at the end of the day, hey, just, just join us. It's fun. We're having a ball over here. We take requests. Um, we cover everything from G.I. Joe to Mego to all types of uh, action figures. Our museum is what it says. It's a museum. Everything I have in my museum is... Mint on card or mint in box. So if you're coming by our, our museum, just understand that we don't take anything out. Everything is preserved perfectly. We are preserving the historical value and history of G.I. Joe and other action figures. So it's just not just the figure that we're covering like this beautiful G.I. Joe, we're covering the history, how, you know, how it's, how it was packaged, everything, because that's just as important as a figure, the packaging. If you want to see some, some people take their, their, their figures out of the uh, the box and off the cards. I got some great people, some great collector buddies that has some awesome uh, YouTube channels that do exactly that. Um, they don't. They prefer not to keep them uh, C10 museum quality. They prefer to take them out of their boxes and off their cards. And uh, so we help with all of that. <laughs> You want to see that? We have, we have, there's YouTube channels for that too. But here is a museum, guys. And I, I said that little um, part right there because somebody wanted to know 
did we ever take stuff out of the the box or out, out of the card. Now we're a museum guys. <laughs> Let's get you a year here. 2003. Here's the backstory of the Army anti tank gunner. These cards. Look how beautiful this this card is. This would make once again. You guys heard me say this a million times. This would make a phenomenal poster. A phenomenal poster. You can also look for this with the Saw Rescue Fighter Fire. Another excellent, excellent. G.I. Joe. Guys, what, have you, what do you think about our Army anti-tank gunner? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? You can still find this guy. I would always say Cotswold Collectibles will be your best spot to definitely check. Check Cotswold Collectibles first. I swear by them. They themselves are collectors. So they cater to the collecting community. And what I mean by that is that they don't sell too many loose figures. Uh, mostly everything they sell is mint in box and mint on card. And if they do sell something loose, it's going to have all of its parts and accessories and everything. Or they won't sell it at all. So... They're up there on my my list. I, I work with a lot of different uh, toy websites, Entertainment Earth, Coswell Collectibles, uh, Figures Toy Company, just to name a few, uh, Emerald City Comics, because they 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 all do great business, and it's customers first, and it's collectors first. So we do a lot of great business with these guys. Guys, we got some more fun videos coming coming your way. We got some more fun uh, action-packed surprises coming your way. I'm on vacation. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself. So you know the routine, guys. You know the routine. Grab your favorite beverage. Hop on the couch. Kick back. And relax. And tune in to the MIB Master Museum Channel. God bless. These weapons are beautiful. This is the guidance system, by the way. Gung-ho grip hands. Beautiful helmet. And keep collecting.